so this is a second question in part e classes and object related question i will read out the question define a class area with the following criteria data members member function and member function outside the class so when you look into the question there are certain keywords first only you should make a note of it what is the class name class name is area sometimes they will be if they are not giving you have to choose the class name next one data members what are the data members l and b and member function input function and output function you are supposed to write the same thing as a data member and member function you should not change it the third one you have to make a note of it very important you have to write a program based on outside the class okay that are the keyword first you have to make a note of it when you are seeing the question paper after that now we are going to write the program based on all this how do you create a class now you have to create a class by using the class keyword and what is the class name it is the area after that you have to open the class with the flower bracket now you have to mention two access specifier here generally we are having three access specifier but here we are going to mention two access specifier one is private all the time in private we are going to mention the data members so here data members are l and b so int l comma b and semicolon next one is a public public you have to mention the member function what are the member function input function and output function so you should mention void input function and void output function so after this you have to what after that you have to see the third question it is outside the class which means you are going to create a program outside the class for that you have to close the class now so how do you close the class you have to close the flower bracket with the semicolon semicolon is very important if you write here till here you can get one mark after that we are going to write the program outside the class how do you write it first void what is the class name area so void class name area and scope resolution operator this two dotted are called scope resolution operator this will help you to access the member function outside the class so here what is the first function input function so input function first you have to write it after that don't mention semicolon open the bracket here so functionality we are going to write it what is the meaning of functionality you are going to receive the value from the user what value l and b now see out enter the length so this is the first value you are going to receive it from the user semicolon next after sending this you are receiving the input value c i n what is the variable l here so l semicolon after that c out enter the breadth semicolon then you have to mention c i n b only two values we are going to receive it from the user then you have to close the input function here no need to mention the semicolon only the class you have to mention the semicolon next what is the second function output function so again you have to repeat the same thing void area scope resolution operator instead of input you are going to mention what output function then open the bracket in output function you are going to mention here they are not asking you to calculate anything so just receiving the l and b and output the value for l and b so what are you going to do now c out l semicolon c out b semicolon that's it then you have to close it so this one is over after that you are going to create the main function to create a main function void main function so after that what is the class name class name is area and take the first word that will be the object name a is my object name semicolon after that you have to call the function how do you call the function what is the object name here a so a dot what are the function we are having input function and output function so you have to mention a dot input function semicolon a dot output function semicolon then close it so the program is over 
now let's see the next example the same example of previous program here the only changes here is inside the class last program outside the class now look at the program here the class name again is area you have to make a note of it and data members are l and b and third one member functions are input function and output function here you have to create the program with inside the class how do you create it by using the class keyword what is the class name area after that open the flower bracket you have to mention access specifier so data members always should be in private you are secure the data private and private int l comma b semicolon after that public you have to mention what member function so two functions are there void input so void inputs so this is a void input so immediately don't write void output because it is inside the class so you should not create it immediately okay now you have to create the functionality here so void input what are the functionality you are going to receive two value from the user l and b okay so inside the class only you are writing it you are not closing the class so c out and enter the length and c i n and you are receiving the value in l after that c out enter the breadth now i forgot to put the semicolon put the semicolon next c i n and it is a b semicolon now you have to close the input function now what you are going to do you are going to give the output function inside the class only so void output function so here also no need to mention the semicolon and open the flower bracket in output function what are you going to do you are just going to show the result so out see out l and see out b that's it then you are closing the output now you are supposed to close the class with the semicolon everyone understood what is the difference between previous program and this program this is an example of inside the class so inside the class input function you have to mention and output function also inside the class only you should mention finally you should close the class with semicolon okay now we are going to write the main function so void main the same concept in last program after main function what you are going to create you are going to create an object what is the class name area area and the first character is a object name how are you calling the function by using the object name and dot operator and input function the same way you have to call the output function and finally you should close the bracket now this is an example of in you know inside the class now look at the program here this program they asked you inside the class previous program outside the class but sometimes they won't mention anything in the case you can choose any one method okay